Welcome back to the Monday Mail Call. I'm your host, the Duck Man. Ha! And this is Bee McQueen. That's right. We're back today to review a product that was sent to us. This is a vacuum cleaner. Yes. And who's it from? Farsala? Farasala? I think it's Farasala. 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 They were so wonderful to send this product down to us a few months ago. And uh, that's right, a few months ago, and I haven't actually gotten to review it. Unfortunately, we ran out of stock at one point, and then you know what happened in my life. So, this box, as tattered as it is, you can see it's uh, a little rather beat because it's been with me on many road trips and has thousands of miles on it at this point. I mean, many thousands of miles, like five or 6,000 road trip miles. <laughs> so this box has been with me because I knew at some point I was going to be cutting a video and today's the day. So we're gonna open up this box in just a second right after our intro. And uh, do you have any questions at all? No. Well, my question is, I mean, it's a vacuum. We're doing a review on it. The biggest question everybody wants to know, does it suck? We'll be back. All right, let's bust it open. Let's see what we've got in this box. All right. All right. There is the box, or sleeve to the box. It looks like it's sitting in a plastic tray. Right. In there we apparently have some kind of cylindrical shaped device. The vacuum itself. That looks like the vacuum. Show that logo up there on that screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got some accessories in there. Mm -hmm. Shaped accessories. Looks like a little nozzle of some sort. Mm -hmm. Like we got us an instruction manual, of course, and we are people that do read the instruction manual. You may watch some other videos like people that don't, but we do. Nice carrying case. Oh, carrying bag. How about that? Excellent. Soft. It's soft. It's like a like a microfiber. It's like a microfiber. Okay. Another attachment. Another little brush nozzle. You got a uh, what? A scrubby brush. Oh, it looks I like. I guess for if you get something buried deep in your uh, uh, radio controls or something, you can brush it out with that, huh? Oh. Okay. What else we got in there? That's it. That's it. it. No. Nope. Oh no. Looks like there's a charge cable in there too. It was kind of hidden away. Get a charge cable. So it looks like it's standard USB on one end and a USB, uh, I guess they call it 3.0 on that end. The, uh, no, USB-C, my bad. I'm a computer guy, I should know better. But it's the big end that you find on a lot of the new cell phones nowadays. Okay, so this sucker has already been previously charged. We actually went ahead and spent the time to get this sucker charged. It charged up in about 20 minutes. I was actually rather surprised about it. The USB plugs in just like so. And then I plug it into my two amp charger inside the house, right in my electrical socket. And uh, it took about 20 minutes and it charged up just fine. It uh, powers on like it's supposed to. Of course, I didn't push the button like you're supposed to. You're supposed to hold it about two seconds, according to the manual. The charge cable did get a little bit warm, which was kind of unusual. About as hot as a, like a cup of coffee that you can drink comfortably. That's about as hot as it got, which was kind of odd, but I did plug it into a two amp charger, which is probably one of the reasons why it charged so fast. But I mean, there was no reason to be concerned with the wire getting deformed, melted, burned, or any nonsense like that. But the little device seems like it's ready to go. You hold that button for two seconds with the cap off, and it starts. And then one press and it's back off. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this product. All right, we're having a seat right here in my 350Z. And one of the places that I notice the most dirt always builds up, especially after a lot of long road trips, is right around the shifter boot. I've been saving this dirt on purpose just for this vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yes, my boot is old and worn out. This car is about 15 years old. The shift handle needs a little bit of service, so I'm gonna fix that. I actually have to cut a piece on the lathe and put a spacer in there because this aftermarket shift knob is just, yeah, just silly. Anyways, we're gonna see if this thing does the job that it takes to clean up all the dirt around here. A little brushy guy. Little brush guy, little brush nozzle, okay. Oh, it's There's a slot good. right in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic up all of the dirt without doubt and the duck feather residue <laughs> ducks make a lot of dander if you didn't already know oh look at that it's working actually quite well Yeah, yeah, that is working quite well. It's just sticky up here. Yeah, it's a little sticky because the beverage spilled in it with drink holders right there, so that's actually uh, where it got into. In fact, I can see it's a little sticky around the radio controls here. Well, climate controls. I hit some of that dust on the dashboard. Let's see how that works out. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. 
Okay. Probably a wet rag would have been a little better to use there in this situation, but um, maybe in the AC controls and around the, uh, the door handle kind of thing, uh, the stuff that you can't get into with a rag. Wherever there's a little bit of buildup. It does get pretty warm when you run it. It runs a little warm, does it? A little bit. Yeah, it gets a little warm. It is a bit of a warm day right now. I mean, it's not hot by any means. It's actually a beautiful day here in Florida, but uh, we are sitting in direct sunlight, so... I'd say it's doing a pretty good job. Yeah. Convenience factor, this is, is nice because you can keep it in the car with you mm -hmm. when you don't have to drag your whole vacuum cleaner outside to clean your car, which I would recommend probably anyway if you're going to be doing a whole car cleaning. But this would be good for uh, cleaning up uh, pet messes in between. That's working. Picking it up. Yeah. As I said, this will not replace your home vacuum, but it's certainly something good for uh, just doing your between maintenance, between full-on vacuums. All right, we're going to show the dirt. Let's see the dirt. There it is. All collected in there. Actually, it collected quite a bit. I wonder if it reduced the uh, effectiveness of it because we picked up so much. Actually, that's not too bad. Looks like it's pretty easy to clean. I would imagine you could wash this and let it dry and then uh, reinstall it. Just like a normal vacuum filter? Yeah, like a normal vacuum filter or even your car filter, although I wouldn't recommend that you oil this like a car filter. <laughs> Everything else in there dumped out okay. Pluck, pluck. There you go. There you go. And that was quite a bit on there. That was actually quite a bit. Let me see. It's like a, like a metal mesh. So the stuff collects between that and the air filter, like that. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it certainly gets the job done, doesn't it? It does. Let's see if it picks up uh, pet hair. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna hop over to B's. Bark box. The one and only Ford F-150. So I have three dogs. Uh-huh. And they all ride in this car. Yeah. They shed like crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, the hound specifically, her hair even clogs my robot vacuum. <laughs> so, let's see how this does. And we have a... A bit of fur sitting here on the, Just a bit. On the seat. <laughs> Boy, I'm so glad I have a duck with the feathers. <laughs> Try to use a faster scrubbing motion. Try to scrub it back and forth. It's enough to agitate what's attached. Now, I would say it's not the fault of the vacuum in this case. The hair is just well bonded to the seat. <laughs> Cindy has but really coarse hair. Did it pick it up is the big question. How much of it has it sucked up here? And would it pick up from other places like plastic surfaces or it's other... quite a bit of hair. Oh, my. Yeah. That's not just quite a bit. That's, that's actually a lot. That's a whole dog. And a lot of dirt. Yeah. Just a lot of dirt in there, which I didn't expect to see from where you've uh, vacuumed. Well, shake that out. Going to hit that ledge. Dig it in there a little bit. There you go, you gotta loosen it up. I'd say that's actually working pretty good. Oh yeah. Yes, might be one of the better schools for it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that's highly effective as well. Looks like the best way to run it is to not push too hard. Because I guess it forms a seal. <laughs> and it won't draw any air in it. That does really well. Yeah, actually, that was quite effective. Quite effective. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to thank Ferrocelor for sending this sucker out to us. Um, well, look at that. We got a little, little scrubby brush there for getting in the tighter to reach areas. I would imagine that can also be used to clean the filter out. Ooh. I wonder what the little hand on the other end is for. I couldn't find anything in the instruction manual about that. It's actually got a little hand. It's kind of interesting. High five. That's it. Ah. <laughs> so, B, mm -hmm. thank you so much for demonstrating the product. Of course. And we're going to hop right on back to our regular scheduled Monday mail call video. And we're back. This little Ferrocella vacuum cleaner, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a decent product. It's not particularly expensive either. You can find the Amazon links down below in the video description. Please check them out. At least have a look, you know? It's a good product. I certainly recommend it. So, thumbs up. What do you think? 
Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. That makes three thumbs up for us. Unfortunately, holding it, I'd give you four. <laughs> it certainly won't replace a regular vacuum cleaner, but it's good for the little piecemeal cleanup periodically when you're out and about, and you don't have that option. So, again, recommended. Thanks. We got this one here. This came from um, a fan of mine, who's actually a friend now too, uh, named Matthew, who comes uh, from North Alabama that drove all the way down to our car show. Now, the funny thing is, he actually did not have this with him. He actually gave it to Wild Bill when Wild Bill was way up in Northern Alabama at a car show, and he took it back with him, and he forgot about it. <laughs> he had a breakdown with his bus again, and uh, this thing was left in the bus, and he just completely forgot about it. Anyway, when he came down here, he asked Wild Bill, he said, did you give him the box yet? He hasn't made a video. And Wild Bill's like, oops. <laughs> so, we've got the box, finally. We went and picked it up from Wild Bill today, so let's find out what it is. Looks like there's something coming out of there. Maybe we can start with that. The Duck Man. I wonder who that is. I have no idea. <laughs> it's not licked. It, well, it is, but it's stuck to the car. Oh, well, maybe that's just the humidity. Uh, ah, yeah, it's Florida. Oh. All right. Message of sympathy in the loss of your loved one. Oh. Sorry for your loss. I know this year has been very difficult for you. I hope the best for you in the future. Always behave like a duck. Keep calm and unruffled on the surface, but paddle like hell underwater. Your friends in Alabama, Brooke and Matthew. Well, that's really fantastic. We gave their phone number in here, which we're not gonna give away on video. <laughs> you can also hit them up on Facebook Messenger. I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. I hope this isn't gonna be too sad of a something here open. I didn't know what to expect, but we're, we're about to see. So whatever it was, was handmade. I know that, so be, be del delicate. Paper. Mm -hmm. Paper's always good. Aww. <laughs> the two baby girls, both Skeeter and Jumper. That is sweet. And a Skeeter and Jumper clip, double sided. Guess I can get some chips now. <laughs> uh oh. The Duck Mobile. How about that? It's a, it's a model Volkswagen with doors and stuff that open. Yeah, it's even got an engine in there. Check that out. And it's got uh, Duckmobile graphics. Ducks on the roof. <laughs> Skeeter and jumper down the hood. Thank you so much, Matthew and Brooke. I really appreciate that. I'm so glad I got to see you guys too at the show. Uh, last time I saw you was way up in uh, Tannehill almost two years ago when we were up there. I brought Skeeter on that trip also. This is a, um, well, it says 67 on the bottom of it. I was actually going to guess approximately that age anyway because it's a swing axle, but it has the late model headlights, and that was the only year that did that. Well, no, that's not, not correct. I'm wrong. You guys are going to call me out on that one. 68 didn't kill. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Quick. Quick like a bunny. <laughs> yeah, 60, 60, uh, 67 and 68 both had the same headlights. However, the 67 had a unique deck lid, which that very obviously is. And of course, I've got one in my office that's green. You see me do my uh, videos with that in the background. But thanks, you guys. This is going to go up on the uh, mantle above my TV. And probably a little duck will too. I appreciate that so much. What do we got here? More paper. paper? Any money? No. Condoms? No. Nothing? No condoms. Nobody ever sends me any condoms. Not that he needs them. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't need them. <laughs> All right, we got something else here. The last thing for today. All right. This is a special treat. This was dropped off by one of my friends, a new friend, a fan. Fran. I put fan and friend together, Fran. Fran. <laughs> made me sound like I'm from the South here, but obviously I'm not. You know, somebody yesterday left a comment that said they don't like my accent so they couldn't stand to watch me anymore. No, Fran, I guess Fran. I had to sound like that and then maybe he would have watched me anyway. <laughs> and I laughed so hard when I saw it, I'm like, that's your gripe, you're not gonna bitch about my content, but rather the way I sound. That's the worst thing yeah, that that's... people have to say about you. I, I laughed 
as I hit the button to just make it go away. Right. And normally I, I, I wouldn't even say something to something like that, and I didn't, but that, that just, yeah, friend. Friend. <laughs> friend. Well, friend. Well, today we're gonna talk about this hot sauce right here. Okay, anyway, Delmont. yeah, Delmont. Delmont's not here. I didn't see him. Huh? We'll have to see if we can get him on video sometime soon. Anyway, this came from a fan <laughs> who is now a new friend. <laughs> he comes from over in, um, and he's gonna kill me for this. I can't remember if he said Loxley or Foley, Alabama. So it's about less than an hour that way over to the west. And he made this special from peppers that he grew in his yard. And this is hot sauce. Bobby is his name. Really nice guy. He brought it to the show to come see me. And uh, I've been excited to try it since. I haven't done anything but given it a sniff. And Bobby said he was a little disappointed that it didn't come out as hot as he wanted it to because he put like Carolina Reapers in this, <laughs> which used to be one of the hottest peppers in the world. It's since been knocked off and thrown by others. But he grew them all himself. There's, there's some Tabascos in here. I and smell that. Yeah, so, so do I. And a few other things, and I'm excited to try it. So we got some extra cheap ass cheesy crackers here. And um, these crackers came from my uh, car show. Uh, goodie bag mm -hmm. for the Rare Air Volkswagen show, which by the way, yes, we are going to post up some videos about that. Uh, I might even do it the day after this video, so that way it's got a little time for this one to percolate. A little bit smashed up, aren't they? Yeah. I think I tossed them around a bit much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Boy. How much you want on yours? Got a little mm, duck, like a little dot? hard. Oh. Not good? I think that'll work. Okay. I gotta take the whole thing. Oh, very good. Mmm. Want some more of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Good. He warned us it's a burn that builds. I just took a shot of it too. It's just... <laughs> it was good. Oh, very good. I couldn't think of the crackers aren't that bad either. I don't know. It probably would have been better on a plain one. These actually have a little cheese in them. Oh shit. That's very good. Thank you, Bobby. Really appreciate yeah. them. Oh man, delicious. That's good. I'm gonna put some on some chicken or a hamburger now. I was gonna mm -hmm. say, that'd be really good on a burger. You know what, we got one more cracker each. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. A kick like that would be really good in a salsa too. Mm -hmm. and here's one for Skeeter. <laughs> baby. Yeah, it's starting to build now, I feel it. Mmm. <laughs> oh, good. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Bobby sells it, but... <laughs> That's good. I think it would be even better without the cheese. Uh, you're right. You're definitely right. Wow. Oh. That's Just good. a regular plain cracker would probably be mm -hmm. good. And maybe even some french fries or something. That'd be really dope yeah. in ketchup with fries. Okay, and Bobby, we're gonna mix up your uh, hot sauce and some new stuff. Maybe we'll like mix it even with like... Barbecue. I was gonna say mayonnaise. Oh. And make like a... Like the... We usually put it on the sushi. Oh, like spicy the, mayo? Sriracha mayo, oh. yeah. So it'd be something like that. I think that would probably work too. That'd be but good. But it's, it's really good, Bobby. Thank you so much for that. And, and homemade, he did it all himself. He, uh, I think he said he distilled it, so it went through a whole process, mm -hmm. and uh, it came out delicious. It's really good, really good, and uh, I hope I can get more when it's gone, because it's not going to last very long in this house. <laughs> Anyways, thanks always for watching our videos. Don't forget to licky likey, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other channels and B's channel, as well as all of our other links you can find right up on touchit.net. That's right, hit up my website. Once again, for the vacuum cleaner, Look for the Amazon link down below in the video description. You two can get one of these. Like I said, they're not too awfully expensive, and you can't beat it with Amazon's free two-day shipping, Ooh. right? So, I mean, I'm not pushing Amazon at all for that, but if you follow the link, you guys, you can get it. You too can get it. You too can get it. You can't get that. You can't get that. You gotta pay for that. You can't get that. 
Ini gini. 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 Ini gini.